it's your girl it is vlogmas day 24 yes we are at christmas eve <sighs> can't believe this day has finally come so we're doing christmas eve at my brother's place and then christmas day here at my house so i need to go get ready <laughs> and because it's going to be family time i really don't want to take the vlog with me there so i thought it'd be kind of fun to do something a little bit different a handful of my most recent followers have been family and friends but since i started doing vlogmas i had gained a bunch of new followers and realized that I never properly introduced myself. So I thought that while I was getting ready today that I would do a get to know me tag set of questions just so y'all would be able to know me a little bit better. So the first question on this list is what is your middle name? Judging by my username, I know some people might be inclined to say Cole, but it is not. My middle name is actually my mom's maiden name. I think it's a cultural thing to do that, and also my full first name is actually two names, not just one. So, Tony Cole comes from Tony Nicole, and I've been using that sort of nickname probably since like the AOL Instant Messenger days. The next question is, share your favorite subject in high school. Hands down, my favorite subject in high school was probably English. While I was in high school, I had a handful of really, really amazing teachers. The next question is, what is your favorite drink? What kind of drinks are we talking about here? Speaking of drinks, if you're seeing this, drink some water. My favorite drink is probably iced coffee. <laughs> I feel like a lot has changed about me over the last, like, even 10 years. But one thing that hasn't changed has been my extreme love for coffee. Question number four is, what is your favorite song at the moment? We are in the holidays, so I'm going to go ahead and pick a Christmas song. My brother, sister-in-law, and I watch High School Musical, the series. And it's just one of those things where I was like, oh, this could be interesting. It actually ended up being really, really good. Like, I've never been a High School Musical, like, super fan or anything like that. Like, I was never really into that whole thing. I think also because it came out when I was ending... I think when I was like in the middle of high school, so I was already not really watching Disney to begin with. But we saw the trailers for it and it looked really, really interesting and kind of funny, so we started watching it. And I think we all low-key became obsessed. The cast recently did a Christmas special and one of the main characters, who is played by Joshua Bassett, made this song called The Perfect Gift. And it's an original Christmas song written by him and it is so cute. So that's probably my favorite holiday song right now. The next question is, what would you name your children? Loki, I don't want to share that because I don't want anybody to steal my future kids' names. I will say this. I am a huge Beatles fan. I always have been. One of the names that I have in mind is going to be in a reference to, or as like Loki, a tribute to the Beatles. Question number six is, have you participated in any sports? I definitely have. When I was in like elementary school, middle school, I used to do club basketball with my older brother and I was usually always the only girl on the team. It was rare that there was ever a second girl on the team. It was always really annoying. And then in high school, I played volleyball my freshman year. And I honestly loved the sport, but I really did not like the coach. So I didn't continue after that. But now as an adult, I've been like thinking a lot about kind of going back into it and watching Haikyuu over and over and over again. It's probably at fault for that. The next question is, what is your favorite book? That right there in itself is honestly a loaded question. I am a huge book reader if you can't already tell. <laughs> so I don't know if I can really pick just one. If we are looking at like maybe books that I've read recently, there is a book called Saint Anything, which is by... <clears throat> There's a book called Saint Anything, which is by this author named Sarah Dessen. And she's honestly one of my favorite young adult fiction writers. <clears throat> but I recently read that one and it was so good. So the next question is, what is your favorite color? My favorite color is basically the Gryffindor aesthetic. <laughs> I love burgundy and I love yellow and gold and stuff like that. 
So a lot of my clothes and a lot of my accessories and stuff like that are going to be in those colors. Next question is, what is your favorite animal? My favorite animal is the narwhal. When I was younger, I think for the longest time, I just thought that narwhals weren't real. <laughs> like I thought they were imaginary like unicorns and then I found out that they're actual animals and I low-key freaked out about it and I thought it, I got so excited. So since then, the narwhals have been my favorite animal. What is your favorite perfume? I don't really have a favorite perfume. I'm not really big on perfume, mainly just because I feel like they're always super expensive and kind of like designer and that's just, that's not for me. However, I do have favorite scents. I like kind of more like comforting scents like lavender and vanilla and things like that. But also I love really kind of like bright and citrusy scents. Question 11 is what is your favorite holiday? And that one is very easy for me. My favorite holiday is Christmas. Our question 12 is on a scale of 1 to 10 rate your childhood. I think honestly I'd probably give my childhood like an 8 or a 9, you know, really high up there. Obviously never, nothing is really ever 100% perfect, but my parents would always be very kind of supportive of anything that my brother and I wanted to try. So when my brother wanted to play basketball, they put him in basketball and of course I wanted to follow so I did that too. When, when I wanted to like better my singing, my parents put me through voice lessons. When I wanted to dance, my parents let me go take dance classes, different things like that. So my parents always tried to give us every opportunity that we wanted. So I think because of that, I would rate my childhood really, really high. Question 13 is, have you ever been out of the country? Yes. And I want to go again. <laughs> I rebranded this channel a couple of years ago and basically took out all of my non-travel related videos off of public because I wanted to turn this channel into like a travel channel. I had actually had planned on doing that. Outside of the States, I have been across the Philippines, Sydney, Australia, all over New Zealand. I have gone to Berlin, Germany, Paris, London, and then also all across Greece. And then Mexico, of course, because, you know, we live significantly close to here in California. But I had plans on doing so much more traveling. I had a trip to Ireland that I had to cancel because of the pandemic and other places that I really wanted to go to that I really just could not plan for because of the circumstances. But yeah, this channel was originally going to be a travel vlog if 2020 hadn't happened to it. The next question is, do you speak any different languages? Yes, yeah, sort of. While I was living in Denver, I taught in a bilingual classroom and I had already known a lot of Spanish, but I really never practiced it, but then with my students, I was kind of forced to practice it because I needed to always give instructions in English and in Spanish to make sure that everybody knew what they were doing. And whenever my kids had questions in Spanish and they couldn't really understand what I was saying in English, I'd have to try to translate that into Spanish for them to understand as well. However, after moving back home, I didn't really get that daily practice with Spanish anymore. So my Spanish is really bad. And then I also speak a little bit of French, not very well. I speak French with a Spanish accent, apparently. And I learned a bit of Tagalog, which is my family's language, but I'm much better at understanding it than I am speaking it. And then there's also a point when I was trying to learn German because I am trying to get out to Berlin eventually and work out there or something, so. Question number 15, do you have any siblings? Yeah, duh. Y'all have already seen my brother and you've also seen my sister-in-law and those are my siblings. And then my brother's best friend is also basically my second brother as well. They've just all grown up together and he's always part of the family. Before he got orders in where he's stationed at right now, every holiday he was always with us and stuff as well. Every holiday, every Super Bowl, stuff like that. So he's been family, you know, and he always is family. Question number 16 is what is your favorite store? So my favorite store is a place called Tattered Cover. It is a bookstore that's in Colorado. I think it's only in Denver, I'm not too sure. When I was living out in Denver, I probably spent 
every, at least a part of my weekend, every weekend in the Tattered Cover. What I really love about them is that on top of selling new books, they also sell a bunch of used books. And they also really heavily support local writers and local artists. The next question is, what is your favorite restaurant? There is this place called Takabe and they do Indian fry bread, but you basically like order and top it like you would a chipotle bowl or something. Question 18 was, did you like school? Yes, I did really like school actually. I feel like I've always just been such a student. So I've always enjoyed school and plus like I feel like school is really the one place where I really got to socialize and meet my, up with my friends. What are some of your favorite YouTubers? I actually have an entire video on that and I'll link it in the description. Question 20 is what is your favorite movie? Honestly that's going to depend. Um, I have different favorite movies kind of based on different moods and kind of just in whatever the mood I'm in at the moment it's probably going to dictate whatever I watch that day or whatever. But my favorite holiday movie is Elf. Easy. Question 21 is what are some of your favorite TV shows? I love The Great British Bake Off. I love Friends and How I Met Your Mother. Game of Thrones except for the last season. <laughs> oh, I also have a huge obsession with Terrace House. Next question is PC or Mac? Both. And then question 23 is what phone do you have? I have a iPhone 10X Max. Question 24 is how tall are you? Short. No, I'm just kidding. I'm 5'3", which is still short, but don't at me. And then the last question is do you have any pets? I do not have any pets but my brother does. He has a dog named Kobe who just turned two earlier this month and I absolutely adore him. I babysit him a lot. I absolutely love Kobe. He's so cute but he can be so territorial sometimes. So he's really really mean to strangers. Alright so this is my Christmas Eve makeup. It is basically the makeup that I did yesterday only instead of doing one green eye and one red eye, I decided to do both green eyes since I'm wearing burgundy. So I think I'm going to go ahead and end it here. I hope you have a good morning, noon, and night whenever you're watching this. And I will see you tomorrow, which is our very last day of Vlogmas. That's insane. <laughs> Alright, see you tomorrow. Bye!